My name is Thomas Nolan. I'm a part of the Cornell University class of 2020, where I majored in government and Near Eastern studies. Uh, currently, I am a master's of science student at the University of Oxford, studying global governance and diplomacy. Um, and behind me, we have Inside the Radcliffe Camera, one of Oxford's most famous libraries. My experience with the Pro Seminar on Peace Studies course, um, the uh, offered with the Peace and Conflict uh, lecture series, was one of the most impactful um, learning experiences that I could have had in, in all of undergrad, I would honestly say. The origins of my interest in Peace and Conflict Studies would have to do with um, my family's history with, with the topics. So my stepmom was raised in Northern Ireland during the Troubles in County Derry. I think hearing her stories growing up and the way he, it affected her family very much gave me this sense of wanting to learn more about the protection of civilians or impartial actors that are caught in between conflicts. One of the most amazing things I learned from that course was that academia can focus on a subject without zeroing in and having tunnel vision on that subject. I had come to view my own personal research as going deeper and deeper into something that was inevitably going to pinpoint one thing, and that's what I would become an expert in someday. Um, but the lecture series taught me that that's definitely not the case with academia. Peace and Conflict Studies lecture series brought academics from such diverse backgrounds, some doing peacekeeping at the UN, some doing military, military invasions in X country, some doing war financing, some doing just general political economy of developing states. Being in the course with graduate students was amazing because I learned I learned about academic curiosity in a different way than just your research focus. It was just such a collective environment of everyone engaging with the speaker, anyone talking if they wanted to, um, raising a question if you had one, raising a concern if you had one. And that was what I did um, as, as an undergrad. And it felt, really, it felt really good. I gained a lot of confidence in that class that I definitely brought here with me to Oxford. But in the summer after my junior year, going into my senior year, I applied for the Fulbright program, um, which I know is run through the Anadi Center. And I was incredibly amazed to see the level of support given to students. I think that that's something most universities don't get is staff actually on hand with the express purpose of helping you win a scholarship like that. And I ended up winning the Fulbright. I was fortunate enough to um, win the Freeman Prize in Peace Studies through the Repi Institute, um, run through the Inaudi Center, which was extremely helpful in funding uh, my studies here at Oxford. What I would have to tell current Cornell students, whatever level they're at, undergraduate, graduate, um, is apply, apply, apply. <laughs> whatever it is, whether it's Inaudi Center, whether it's another fellowship or job or whatever that's, that's promoted through the Inaudi Center, look at it and apply. 